It's time for Atomic Athletes. Don't miss Atomic Blonde in theaters July 28th. Wrong guy, wrong place, wrong time. Bad for Lonzo, bad for the new youthful enthusiasm of the new look Los Angeles Lakers, bad for their contagious new spirit, and I just don't get why the Lakers would at all be interested. Magic Johnson is the perfect mentor. I couldn't like Hollywood script it better for Lonzo Ball to have the greatest point guard ever, the most charismatic figure in, in sports, to, to be your big brother and your mentor? I mean, what? I, I, <laughs> it's perfect. What do you need Derrick Rose for? Because Lonzo and Magic, very high, like gifted basketball IQ. Derrick Rose, not so much on the basketball IQ. But Magic can't give Lonzo a break on the court. Okay, but that, that's not what it's being sold as. They want him to mentor yeah, young Lonzo and mentor. sort of show him the ropes yeah. of the NBA. I think Magic will be okay doing that. <laughs> and by the way, Derek was the youngest ever to win the MVP back in 2011. But I first guessed this. A lot of times, he just put his head down and tried to run through that brick wall of tall bodies in the lane and get to the rim. Right. And he was very successful at doing it for a little while. But it was almost like NFL running back syndrome. Mm -hmm. He had so many high-level collisions that his body started breaking down. Yep. And he started to lose his spirit, and he lost heart, and he lost his love for basketball, and he started to unravel under the pressure to be in his hometown of Chicago, the, the favorite son and the saving grace of the yep. Bulls, the next MJ. And all of a sudden, it got so bad last year with the Knicks, remember? He just didn't show up for a game in New Orleans. Didn't call, didn't write, didn't say anything. Just didn't show up. I just didn't feel like going. You didn't feel like going? That's, come on, those are not the intangibles that you want to rebuild the Los Angeles Lakers with. I, I Look, if, if you want to, I guess, have him be a backup two guard, play a few minutes at two guard, that's fine. But as can far you, as being a big brother to Lonzo, I think it's the worst guy you could pick to be the best. I, I don't think he can play two guard because you've never seen him not play without the ball in his mm -hmm. hands. And for him to be successful, Skip, he needs the ball. But also, and it's like, well, you can put him at two and let Alonzo uh, run the point. No, or you can put him at the point and let Lonzo run the two. Both of these guys need the ball to be successful, Skip. And I agree with you. He was Russell Westbrook before Russell. He was. He had the most, he was the most athletic point guard we had ever seen until Russell came along. And what happened was the knee injuries, the ankle injuries, it's robbed him of, of most. He can still get to the paint sometimes, Skip, mm -hmm. but he can't do it with the consistency and the effortlessness that he once could. And as you mentioned, the youngest NBA MVP of all time. 22 beat Wes Unsell because Wes Unsell was also rookie of the year in MVP. Let's you know what type of season he had. But, Skip, look, I agree. I don't I don't like the necessary, but I want him to sign him. That way he won't end up in Cleveland. See, I, I got all You don't want him in Cleveland. Nope. I, I got ulterior motive. But, really? Skip, look. You don't want him to play a little backup it, point? Here, here's the thing. I, I think these are the two things that, that D. Rose need to take into account. Do I want to play 28 minutes and not go anywhere, be the 10th or the 11th seed, or would I be comfortable playing 20 minutes and contending for a championship? Because that's what it's, gonna, that's what it's coming down to, Skip. Because he, it's not like he's going to get 30, 35 minutes in either location. Mm -hmm. Once One of the situations you know you're going to contend for a championship, and the other, you're basically trying to play big brother to a guy eventually that they're going to boot you out because that's everybody's just going to give you a one-year deal. The days of him thinking he's going to get 20, 25 million skip, that's long gone. First of all, he can't stay healthy enough. And the mercurialness, skip, who just doesn't show up for I a job? Know. I mean, I can know. you imagine? Hey, what's shot of that? I, I've, I, I, you, sometimes I've wondered that while you're sitting there. Ah, but that's okay. okay, okay. I'll, I'll let you slip that yeah, one in. Okay. But Skip, I'm saying, you are a professional athlete. If there's something, you don't call Phil Jackson. You don't call your coach. Mm -hmm. You don't call Car Carmelo. Melo, let them know I had to leave town. What? There's something going on with my mom or my sister or mm -hmm. my, my son, and I got to get back to Chicago. Tell them I'm not going to be there tonight. This, this rascal just don't even show up. Mm -mm. And they're like, well, hey, you know, I you that's didn't not appropriate either. No, you're but I'm grown. You need to tell your coach. But that's what I'm saying. President, why let, you're not there? Let someone know. You just don't go MIA and then blow it off like I had, you know, my family or I had something more pressing than the game. But uh, Skip, it's 
I just, I don't see, I, I agree with you. He, I don't know how good of a positive influence he will be given some of the things that's transpired, yep. not only on the court, but off the court. We don't need to get, there's a situation that happened out here in L.A., so I don't it's really know. Situation. I don't know if he really. Maybe it's the money. Maybe they can offer him three point nine or four million dollars. Maybe a little more. Right. And I mean, cat- Cleveland was the veteran minimum. Right. And well. you know, in Cleveland, LeBron's going to have the ball. Kyrie's going to have the ball. So you're going to have the ball, but you're going to be the third option having the ball. At least in L.A., Lonzo, you, a little more money, a little more playing time a little more opportunity to, to, to distribute the basketball or get to the rim, whatever you do. But one place, you're going to probably be the 10th or the 11th seed. The other place, you're going to go represent the Eastern Conference. I, I just NBA. don't like the mix because, obviously, LeBron runs the Cavaliers. Yeah. And there's no way that Derrick Rose is going to challenge LeBron's authority. But with the kid, the 19-year-old run in the Lakers, it's like, whose team is it? And Derrick Rose might try to assert himself – well, I, I kind of run this team now because I'm the veteran presence here. Well, I, I, I just don't love it. Well, you remember Rondo tried to do that in uh, he Dallas. Did. He did. And Mark Cuban and, and, and mm-hmm. Rick Carlisle said, no, nah, you got to go. You, you got to dip. So I, I don't believe that Magic Johnson would not have a mm-hmm. problem if he sees where this thing is not becoming beneficial, not only to Lonzo, but to the team. There's no question in my mind. Magic Johnson will say, okay, well, thanks. It was Here's written that Derek is working out at the Laker facility during the offseason. Ugh. And yet he's visited the Clippers, he's visited the Bucks. Cavs are hot for him, so he's still. We not hot on stop. Yes, you We're are. Not hot it for is. Cavs. Yeah, Cavs. Cavs. Go, Cavs, go. What, what about Miami? They need a point guard. No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, oh, you you don't want it, but you want Listen, to put him off for love. There are there are way more affordable people that we can sign to sit on the bench and not mm. play. He's gonna play. Uh, is he? That'll be a new thing for Derrick Rose. Well, he's gonna play sometime. <laughs> He gonna play all eighty two, and he might he, up, he might he not. might not show up. I don't know how well that's gonna go with LeBron. I wanted Rio to go back to the Heat, oh, Mario Chalmers, Mario. but he just resigned with the Grizz, Grizz. after his Achilles yeah. injury. We love Mario. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers responded to something that Greg Jennings said on our show. We'll talk about that wow. next with Rob Parker. But first, check out the sneak peek of Atomic Blonde, starring Char- Charlize Theron and James McAvoy in theaters next Friday, July twenty eighth. Is that one of Agent them? Broughton, she's our best intelligence expert. We have a mission for you. Shall we begin? Oh, my 